back. How's it going, guys? Dave to Dipper here, cooking up uh, tuna and pork. Got Dallas no, over here. Potatoes. Oh, yeah. yeah, tuna pork. and Mac potatoes. Don't know why. Tuna and that potatoes. Was a good screaming. Eh, it kind of works. I, I like it. Well, yeah, no, I, I had through the hell that I went through. I miss it. You know, I, I loved every bit of it. Yeah. I think I'd probably go a little crazy in the army. <laughs> Hey, what's the difference between these? Which ones are these? Cereal and salted. Which one's the cereal? This one? Yes. Cereal? Which is supposed yeah, to be a one. Oh, that's cooked. That's, that's the one that we haven't had. This is the one we haven't had? Yeah, same with that one. Oh, I thought we had had the cereal. No, we haven't. Oh, I know that. I gotta see that again. It broke, but... Oh, Whatever. Well. Yeah. Whatever, broken half, we're gonna split them anyway. Hey, there you go, work. If anything, it worked perfectly. Just to so let you guys know that these fuel tabs don't smell the greatest. No, they, they were on to. Smell like a cat's asshole. Yeah, that flame is getting really big. <laughs> That's alright. You sure you don't want something old that would? Ah, it has that. Dang, I don't know why I'm not using it. I didn't give a fuck. No, it helps to take it off. But yeah, right, like you said, could stabilize it as well. there is little chunks of tuna though. Well, he's got that cloth underneath the tea kettle. The tea kettle's probably cool by now. You can just use that. Yeah, I think that's good. Ooh, look at that. That's bigger than the last one was. Oh, God. <laughs> when you blow it out, it stinks more. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 like burnt oh, cat food. Oh god, damn, I'm glad I'm all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> smells like burnt cat food. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, oh hot. god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wafting right in my face. <laughs> this is pelting him. The smoke is just pelting him in the face. I love it. Oh, what's that? Oh. Alright. Now. Well, we have uh, for the other main uh, ma the other end there. Yeah. We can speak English. The other uh, entry entree that we are eating right now is called uh, tuna and potatoes. Suffering suck at that. That could be a good choice too. Have you ever had sucker cash? Uh, may have, may or may not have. I can't remember. I remember he made it for us once. I think I don't know if you had any. I, I might have. Yeah, it's pretty good. How much do you want? That's probably. Good. Uh, no shorts? Yeah, it smells alright. Don't smell too bad. It smells like tuna. The yeah. irony of tuna. Of mercury, which is in tuna. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, that, uh, oh, like, actually. Wow, it really does. It really does taste like chicken. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. What do they call it? I mean, a lot of they call it the chicken, chicken of the sea. Yeah, they call it a sea chicken. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah, I'll try a little bit. Why not? Let me finish this. I'll let me give you. Let me use this plate. Yeah, mm -hmm. cardboard works too. Yeah, that yeah, works too. Yeah. I'm not picky. Is that already empty? Oh, that's from the crackers. Hell, yeah. if you want, you hell, if you want, I'll even use the tiny porky comes with. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ed. I thought I'd fitting there. I was like, yeah, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> love how I, I love how. It, it's like a part, and then you must uh, have to pull it up. That's gonna bend the part. Then. Ooh, that's actually really. It's actually okay. That's actually really good. I like that. No. It has it the, the rich if tomato this, sauce? If this was a with the uh, tomato sauce is not too thick either. Like that. It has a rich flavor it though. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like if this was made of a it doesn't rule the I would dish. Totally keep this. <laughs> because it's a, it's a fork that can fit in your pocket. Uh, I mean, that's a fat the tomato sauce doesn't dominate. Mm. Yeah, no, it's very complex. The tomato sauce actually complements the tuna and potatoes. Yeah. They're definitely something you don't see in here in the U.S. No, that's a, that's a combination that wasn't... You, one thing, you, you know one thing I noticed is uh, pretty much the same everywhere? Mm. The picture on the product is not, never looks like what the product actually looks like. Yeah, that's true anywhere you go. They always make it look better. What do you think about this? It's pretty good. I mean, uh, I never thought of this combination. I usually don't like tuna fish, but... Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, really good I want to try 
I actually want to kind of want to try to make this myself because uh, you just got a couple of cans of regular tuna and you could actually throw this all together yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could probably make it for the cheap too. Dude, you front dollar. Yeah. Hey, my French viewers, you guys are awesome. I know, right? <laughs> if you actually have any. I thought it was always funny how uh, a lot of French, uh, like French cuisines and stuff, or like French poor people food, I guess, mm. is like our high quality food. <laughs> Oh, you, fact, you, know, actually, you actually know something really expensive that actually used to be poor people food until the rich people took it? Lobster. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Used to be poor people food. Used to be like our, our tuna in a can nowadays. And freaking, uh, they, 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 they thought they thought it looked so popular to the poor folk, they, they tasted it and all of a sudden it became their thing. That's cool. Mm. Well. Yeah. Mm. This is really fucking good. I like this. No, basically lobster is just a sea cockroach. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a crustacean. They're never too cleanly. Mm. Uh, man. I can't get over the fact that some people eat this. This is actually very filling, too, actually. I mean, I like lobster, but I will never eat this. No, oh, I mean, like I said, a beer that tastes pretty good after eating out of the... Oh, that's yours. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try the uh, cookie crackers. Cheers. What, that? Yeah, I say though, no. that's actually that was actually really good. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. That's actually it was very filling. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, cookie cracker. Definitely something you could survive on. And Damn it! I might even want to win. All right, hold up. Thank you. Going on with my thing. What happened? All right, guys. Sorry about that. My video cut off. But I just we just I just got done trying uh, tuna and pork tuna and potatoes, which was very good. Now I'm gonna be trying the cookie cracker kind of deal. I'm grinding now. It's pretty good. Which flavor was this? We just like cereal. Cereal, cereal bar. It's almost like a graham cracker and yeah. one of those uh, and one of those um, cereal this snacks. This is the cereal. So we just ate. All right. And it almost tastes like a golden graham, but like really thick. Is this one again? That's us. Uh, that, that right there, he has, uh, failing that life, has the salted crackers. Mm. Well, the cereal ones actually are pretty good. Yeah, have you ever heard of Golden Graham cereal? Mm hmm. Well, it tastes like one of those, but like giant and thick. No. Don't say that. S'mores made out of these would actually be pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it almost tastes like a little bit of a graham cracker, too, so. Well, perfect. Oh, yeah, right, those. <laughs> I already ate one of these. Which one should you say this was again? Keep forgetting. Salted. Salted. Similar, but less sweet and more salty, so it makes sense. Hmm. It's like a graham cracker and a saltine. Yeah! Perfect yeah. combination. It's a bit, much better way That's actually well, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try this uh, chicken pate. Yeah. It looks like cat food can. Mm. It really does, but yeah, we went over uh, that. Another one? Yeah, go ahead. Which one is this? That's the same thing. Oh. I'm just trying to eat it. Mm -hmm. So you get rid of it. Hell, then we're turning down for food. <laughs> now I've got nails. Mm -hmm. Well, you know you drink too much when you got a bottle opener on your keychain. That's a good thing to have. Everybody. Oh, you got it? It doesn't really matter if you drink a lot or not. I mean, a bottle cap opener and excuse me, that sounds like a good idea. Yep. Smells like fucking cat food, too. <laughs> Look like cat food. <laughs> Let me see. I swear to God, Ooh, it's cat food. food. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of smells like... Kind of, like a, it kind of smells like potted meat a little bit, you know, like yeah. the Vienna, so like something Vienna sausage people make. No, 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 not, not that kind of potted meat, like the, the meat paste you can, can put on that? sandwiches. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Don't smell bad. No, it smells all right. Yeah, at least but it does smell look like, like, a, like a like a like a freaking Looks a little dry, to be honest. <laughs> the expectation expectation date on this is uh, uh, in 2020, so we're still still got still good. I guess the only thing that truly matters is well, the taste. Let's be let's be honest. Uh, cans can go way past their expiration date. Yeah, by at least well, ten years. any of the MREs MREs any of these can last for years. 
and have him try a little bit of it. You know what's that supposed to be? Chicken pate. Huh. You know, oh, you know what this, oh, dude, you know what this reminds me of? Mm. The Mexican food with the, the wrap, the, the tortillas with the, the shredded meat. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, explain, explain it slowly. It's like this long. It's like wrapped up. Enchilada. Yes. Tastes yeah. like, tastes uh, like tastes enchilada. Like a, you mean it's like an enchilada bean paint. Like yeah. A, uh, another one that we're named for is taquitos. Taquitos, yeah. That did, oh, that too. That actually don't taste too bad. Yeah. The next thing I want to try... It almost tastes like a bean paste, but with meat. Actually, I'm going to try this, dark, this, this... I'm gonna save that for last. Alright, uh, we're on to dessert now, guys. Oh. Um, Even though we've been eating cookies the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, some of them are salted. That's not really dessert. Mm -hmm. Actually, some people do that with salted caramel. Uh, Alright. Oh, wow, I had a lot. Usually salted crackers are more snack. So now know. this here is caramel. Where'd you ever put that trash bag? Because we got a mess out here. Yeah. That looks messy. Ooh. That smells actually not too bad. That looks like something you would just spread on toast. Oh, maybe you spread it on the crackers. That yeah. Make sense. They smell really good. It smells like butterscotch. Yeah. Ooh, butterscotch is good. Yeah. So it has a caramel. It is caramel. It does have caramel oh, yeah. in there. Basically, it just melted caramel, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I'm going to try a little bit of this. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's more spread stuff than actually eat stuff. <laughs> Which I'm gonna... You'll get enough of it. Smells pretty good. Down the hatch. Yep. <laughs> Big old glob of it, huh? Oh, 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 shit. Careful you don't spill it everywhere. Do you eat them? I'm not trying to. It's like half like jelly. That's actually pretty good. All it's right. very smooth. Very smooth. Mm. Tastes like butterscotch a little bit too, but a little yeah. fruity flavor. It's very rich. Mm. That is not my forte. <laughs> well, I like that. I'm gonna try it. What do they call it? It's like yeah. It's like a type of pudding, but like it's uh, one of those. It's, it's like mousse. Tapioca without a mousse. Yeah. It's like a That's mousse. what I think that is. I think that might yeah, be a mousse. Butterscotch mousse almost. I'm gonna try it with or the cereal mousse, cookie. Yeah, it's not really, not really my forte. It might be a good spread, but. The texture just throws me off. There. Hmm. Not bad, but the cookie. Mm. I think it would probably be better with the cookie. Yeah, that was uh, there. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. And then, um... The other the last couple, oh. last couple of things we have is um, like a, this is like a fruit energy bar with uh, with a apricot. That's yeah, much better than the cracker. Don't, Don't smell bad. It has very light uh, cereal Ooh. fruit smell to it. It um, it almost has the smell of like a lemon lime soda. Yeah. Mm. A little rough. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, it's a very lemony smell to it. Never had apricot before, so I've had apricot and it tastes almost it exactly. It kinda like tastes it. like an uncarbonated like seven up. Yeah. A little bit. Almost like a granola bar but made with apricot, so I think that's what that is. Yeah. yeah. I've had apricot before. They're really good. The only time I've, I've never had real apricot, like fresh apricot. I've only ever had the dry stuff. I'm like, oh. Well, I mean, I've only ever had it in cans, but still. It's... The other thing that we have is uh, pate de fruit, uh, fruits. Again, apricot. Again, apricot. Um. Hey, you definitely gotta make sure your phone's charged next time, bud. Oh no, it's not that. It's because uh, I have a minute thirty left on my thing. Um, another apricot kind of flavored. This is more like a fruit gel, a fruit bar. Mm. 
French must love their apricots. Do you not have a very big uh, SD card in your phone? I have a 32 on there. Well, you should have enough time left in there. Shit. Well, it has like very little to no smell to it. Oh, that one, like, oh, which one is this? Uh, it's like a fruit bar. That apricot. Actually looks this like is some like of those, uh, um, dried fruits that you get in. Uh, yeah, this looks just like a dried bag. fruit. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. basically the same thing as what it looks like. Kind of cool. See how has very has like a very little scent to it. Oh yeah, it is. It's just a dried apricot. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah it's basically yeah. exactly like that. Yeah, really good. I mean, it's good yeah. obviously, but yeah, it's basically exactly just. That tastes like jelly. Dried apricot. Mm -hmm. The last thing is dark chocolate, sixty percent, um, pure, uh, Bierdi de Coq. Cocoa, I can't pronounce it. I don't speak <laughs> French. It's, uh, it looks like it's going to be a, like a Girl Scout flavor. Like a dark chocolate. Oh, wow. Yeah. It smells pretty good. It has like, a very rich smell to it. Oh, yeah. This is really dark chocolate. 60%. 60%? Huh? Which is 2% higher than like the American dark chocolate you'll see Hershey's making. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. That's like baked chocolate level. Yeah, it almost tastes like a baked mm. chocolate. Yeah. Well, it's almost tiny enough to be too bitter. Because it has very. Well, not quite. It has like a two. Like it just doesn't have. Like, you can still taste the sugar, but it like a few percent yeah. more, and you wouldn't want to eat it. Yeah. Too bittery. Yeah, I mean, it's like just under the bitterness of baking chocolate. This is really, that was actually really good, but over in France, the thing's a little different. They like theirs a little bit more well, rich. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, look, look, they give you, they give you tea and, and like coffee and only chocolate. gave you two, two uh, sugar packets. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Chocolates are really, really good rich, but I've never really been a big fan of uh, dark chocolates. because. I think that will do it for me, guys. This is my review on the French military ration. Um... Right here, I have that which will say exactly what it is. I gotta come in though. The official the outro on my channel. Warning, not enough memory. The whole story just changed to number five. Uh, Wait, I think I know why. Do you have your storage set to the internal storage or to the SD card? To uh, both. Well, that's why. If you have it set to the SD card, it'll go straight over there and you won't fill up as quickly. Oh, okay. Also, I just came down here to see what you guys are doing, but uh, thank you for including me in that. <laughs> I'll never say no to free food. That was awesome. Do you have your storage set to the internal storage? Oh, I caught that, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was still recording. Hey, guys, I think that would do it for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Comment down be below what you guys think about this video. And let me know if you want to see more of this. And if you want me to do more of these videos with Failing That Life, doing more of these reviews on these uh, rations. And this is going to be like my new kind of series, if you say, Military ra military Edition and or Foreign MREs. I think that'll be it, guys. 802 Dipper out. Peace. Hell yeah. Salancha. What does Salancha mean? <laughs> yeah, like for cheers. Ah. Cool. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I know how they spell the word. Well, only don't mistake it for cilantro. Well, there's a couple different pronunciations. I don't know which one is for is which one is for real. It's no, the, uh, the cilantro. I, I, I was making a joke about uh, about um. Uh, I think they did an American Dad joke about it too. Um, about singer cilantro. Oh, oh yeah, cilantro. Yeah. Cilantro. That's what. It was, yeah. Did you eat the uh, other? I was gonna eat that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you bastard. Swiped it on the titty. That chocolate was I'm a chocolate fiend, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, that chocolate was fucking good. That chocolate was, I mean, it was close to being too bitter, but it was like at that point where you still good. You can eat the rest of the chicken pate. Um, it's good, but not the... You're like, I'm all right. Yeah, the chicken so pate was probably the story. least favorite thing on that. You want? No? What is that? The chicken, chicken pate? pate? Yeah.
The chicken pate was like my least favorite part of that. That for sure. It was, it was okay. The butterscotch one was, I mean, the caramel thing or whatever wasn't that bad uh, once I put it on the cracker, but alone it's just kind of nasty. I like it. Oh, I like it as it is too. It's good. I, I mean, you took a huge freaking glob of it. If like, I had a couple, if, wow. I had, if I had two cans, of go this, big or go home. Right, I guess. No, if I, I, I had just two cans to try, of this, like, I took a little bit here. It's like, yo, if I, I had really two cans mind. of this and a good a good hunking glob of mayonnaise, this would make a pretty good uh, chicken oh, salad. Yeah, would, give me a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, that would be a hell of a yeah. good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it maybe, basically maybe chicken, is chicken salad. Maybe stick some uh, some pickle relish in there with some onions. Yeah. I mean, it didn't have a bad flavor, but that's not something you... Uh... If it was made into a sandwich, though, it might be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, if you spread it on toast or make it into a sandwich, yeah, that would be amazing. Ooh. This on toast. Just just, just this on toast with, with chicken gravy on top. Oh, Ooh. my God, yes. Oh, that would be so good. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they, uh, those French people, they know how to ration, apparently. <laughs> Well, when I was when I went bought this, when I was looking at this, my review said that um, this is uh, the French uh, twenty-four oh, hour ration. Oh, you know to do? Oh, it's supposed to be twenty-four hour ration that we all ate and we ate it in a few moments. Um, this is a twenty-four hour ration to sustain a soldier for t for one whole two for one whole day. Huh. And yeah. it comes at three thousand six hundred calories. You know, you know, one, one thing we forgot to do. Well, that's how much they need to get there out there. Yeah. <laughs> you want to throw a What's up? It's a measly or oh, whatever no, it is. Dude, you can throw it out. What I might do is I might dump this out and I might do another clip and I'm, I'll, I'll go pick this up and I'm in the microwave cup. Also, that chick, that potted chi uh, that Just potted meat or heat up some water. Oh, yeah. That chicken heat up, that's how it's thing. supposed to be. That uh, chicken pack tasting. thing. It almost reminded me of the same consistency as uh, hummus. All right, everybody. We'll be right back with one one last clip. All right, peace. All right, we're back one more time. We're gonna try this packet of soup. I guess you said it's supposed to be carrot soup, right? Yeah. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. That's all it really says. Oh, carretes. I don't know how to pronounce that. Carrets. Carrets. All right, choose your weapons. Uh. Oh, got some powder in the nose. I'm not trying to snort the soup. <laughs> That's one way to eat the soup, I guess. I guess. Oh wait, let me smell that. That smells like a vegetable stew. Interesting. Calls for like 500 milliliters. Well, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. I have measuring cups. I'm just gonna go by sight, dude. Well, the whole thing there should be good. Got a chunk of stuff in there, though. Right. Uh, let's try this. It's almost like a chicken broth it's in, too. Hmm. Yeah, smell that real quick. Oh, there's a little... There's a little noodles. Gosh, I didn't even notice that. Like, the little... Like, mini, mini, mini SpaghettiOs. Yeah. It's like, uh... Like microscopic SpaghettiOs. <laughs> That's interesting. Can I see a little bit? So, let's see... Looks like we got... Of course, it got pieces of carrots. Looks like it got some uh, parsley, maybe. Parsley or basil. Yeah. Well, it's uh, some kind of broth. I think that's probably good. All right, you go first. Oh. <laughs> Put it on the table. Make it hot of it. Easier.
飛んでもなパン。あぶ。I wonder what the, what you're supposed to cook it in like if you don't. Oh, I guess most armies give you like little tin cups, right? Yeah. Yeah. Although I'm thinking of mostly like Civil War times when you actually carried around little tin cups, so I'm not sure if they still do that kind of thing. Can't it's called canteens. No, not canteens, like water bottles. I'm talking about like the little, you know, the little tin coffee cups. Yeah, they still have those. Yeah. You're actually supposed to cook this over the stove. Why is that? I just chewed one of the noodles. It tastes like it's not soft enough. I think it actually has to like boil for a few minutes. That's why you have the hot water for. Well, no, I'm just saying. I think that's why. Yeah, you know, that's why you get the tin cups. I think you're supposed to put that on top of your heating pad for a few minutes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So there's one thing if you pour it, if you pour oil and water into it. Different if you let it boil for a few minutes, you know, by yeah. it itself. Soup actually, and just eating it straight in a coffee cup, like a microwave it or something. Yeah. That oh, was fun. All right, everybody, scoot on in here. Well, movie chair, scoot on in on in, in here. Okay. All right, everybody. So this is failing at life. 802 Dipper. Remember to hit like, subscribe. Or hit that post notifications button so you get all the updates. Check out his channel too. Considering uh, we film these and put them on both both channels with a little bit differences. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Peace. I got the meat.